Welcome back to another video guys. Today it is time to swap the KA out of Jordan's 240SX and put in another KA. So this is Jordan's 240. It recently lost uh, compression cylinder three and it's burned oil. So we're gonna go ahead and yank the KA out of that and put mine that was out of my 240 into his. He's got a new clutch for it, stuff like that. So we should be good to go. Not sure how long it's gonna take us, but we just need to start chipping away on stuff, unplugging it, getting it out and getting the clutch and the transmission, all that bolted on the new one. So we can get this in and get him back on the road. If I may, I'd like to love you. Alrighty, so everything up top is pretty much free to yank the K out. We got the wiring, the fuel, and all the accessories and all that stuff here in the front. Power steering. Now we have to lift it up in the air, get the uh, like the exhaust off, and then like the starter wire and stuff like that, and disconnect the wiring harness from the trainee. Probably the drive shaft and all that goodies underneath, and then we'll be able to yank it out. Well, it's a few days later. I forgot my camera of the night. We came over here and pulled out the motor. We also gave the engine bay a little bit of a detail. Looks good. This is his old motor that we pulled out, and that's the transmission. We just busted it off to uh, look at the clutch and stuff like that because we were curious. His transmission had a lot of sensors on it, and this is my old one over here that we actually have it ready to go in. We have a new clutch on this thing, along with some of the new sensors that he swapped over from his tranny and got the correct mounts on there. My mounts were done. Uh, swapped over the AC compressor from his to mine because mine didn't have AC. And I think that's about it. Now it's pretty much ready to go into the car. Our plan is just to drop it back in and just restart connecting everything over. I believe it should be a pretty simple process. It's currently 545 in the evening. We're hoping to get this done tonight. Probably finish, hoping to get it done tonight and get it out of here so we can start working on my 240. That needs to start rolling for sure. Let's go ahead, drop the motor in and get going on this car. All right, we got the motor in. Now it's time to connect all the uh, all the goodies around the side. Hopefully she starts. We kind of nicked this AC condenser in here. Alrighty, she is ready to go. All we gotta do is connect the battery. Currently running open header because we've had some issues with the exhaust, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna see we're gonna see if it starts. I think everything's ready to go. All right, let's give it a go. This is your big moment. Engine oil, transmission fluid, coolant, coolant. Open header. I'm excited. Garage slightly for. Well, do you think it's gonna start? No. Let's try it, crank it, let's crank it, and if it starts, turn it back off, and then we can, uh, I'm mildly scared, not gonna lie to you. I feel like we're definitely forgetting something. That's loud. That's gonna be fun driving home, uh, open header. It's been like three days, glad it's done. Hopefully, uh, it can leave the shop so we can get on to bigger and better things. What? All right. Congrats, uh, she's alive. All right, let's 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 tighten everything up and uh, get her out. 12 o'clock, it's 12.21, pulling out. Jordan lives like a mile that way. We're gonna park it there for the night and I'll probably call it good. Well, I'm glad that the uh, the 240 ended up running tonight. We have to get it ready for a turbo build because uh, Jordan over here, he's slapping a turbo on that motor that's currently in there. The one we pulled out that's burning oil, he's gonna rebuild that. And then once the motor that's in there now blows up from the turbo, He's going to put the built one in there. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.